I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Worry not, vessel. Three days here. Come along, you feckless dullards. Get a move on! I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. You ought not anger the overseer. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. I'll not stick my head where it will get cut. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap! Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Yes, 
foes should draw too near. Counter them with a well-aimed kick. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons for the clever combatant. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, Larissa. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What's happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. The comp. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Still, I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sighting. It is said that the arrival of the Sovereign portends an aid. Fie! Goblins! Let... If you find your strength flag, buy the curative or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes for you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slug. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attack. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about... Where are you going? I'll not... Think you're going. You can't just run off now. Where are you going? I'll not fall. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way.
Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Pawns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the arisen then. Strange. Surely there's only meant to be one arisen. Fine, this is all beyond my ken. The watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. Nomads, we are on the call. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to... Very well. May fortune... have taken a wrong choice. Mayhap, if I First, head about, some will buy it, then at accordingly. Hoi there! You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. Alec, my pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. We must rest. Though the sun is A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Are you fit to travel? Would that I 
ne'er had cause to Fancy draw a gander? I find goods for sale. I think I've earned mm. a rest. You'll be pleased with my quality, sir. I... This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Oh, excellent find. Heyo, you a soldier? We've had to start sending out new... Is that so? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fear... Aye, I, I ex... Ocado. To be honest... What? Weren't harpies... This is the first I'm hearing of it. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you... You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Let us make haste. That no life may be lost on our account. I hasten home with the top of my duty. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Over many fierce battles was our bond forged. My oh, shield good. is... I see the arisen's... Have you forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. Master, I'm coming to assist. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. So this is Merle. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. 
Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. Tis an immutable truth of this world. Tis no great shock. Pity a Well met. Pleasure doing business with you. Hast thou forgotten thy destiny, thy charge? That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? 
Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead, and what I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. I am sorry to hear that. Though I cannot say I am surprised. A great many were bathed in the dragon's flames that day. You must be special, indeed. How else? I am of the Border Watch. Someone with Arisen-like abilities came to this village torn in two. Know you all to this. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Marison. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be seen. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly... Oh, but forgive me. I scattered... I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait to... Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Who might have the answers we need? Should we ask around? Oh, have you some business with... Oh, no. I'm not lost, or not. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. So when I had tell of a medicine only to be found, but, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. What? You do that? You suppose there's no harm in that? If you're really sure. Oh, it seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I we could make the fruit fraudulent ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune's apothecary here in Mel. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider that. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized... Tr well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fight... I am a fighter myself. And should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow. At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, this is a vocation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. However, the more powerful the spell, thus a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. New found strength courses through you. It is good to see. There's no discipline. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something?
Always a pleasure. So this is where you've been. We may benefit from pursuing the information. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. First and foremost, will you at my thanks? Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We've got goblins! We need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. Victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Hold fast, Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. what we were looking for. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not children. still more than one. Regardless, do well not to invite my mistrust. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Look there. I espy another statue. Why don't we go take a look? Different masters favor different pools. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist.
Hold here a moment. I shall be... Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Made a sterner stuff than that. Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics.
I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! Might await us on the road ahead. Today? Let us defer to the original. It is as you say. Sleep magic. like the look of this. Fast arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. What's this? We're trapped.
strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. We have a view from up here. How high I can scale. Well said. Tis a foe worthy of caution. We ought to say how our best will do. It is easily done. Gratitude, sir. It seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid, give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I, of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join. <laughs> Ah, here's the cart now. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. of picking things up, aren't you?
Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. Twitch this one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, that arisen now resides within the palace. It follows, therefore. You must submit to questioning. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender. Lest my actions draw... Then you have truly lost your memory? You, and no other. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon. People rejoiced. For our true liege had finally appeared. And yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct Your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead. However, with Your Majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are... <laughs>